So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the end of the week for 801, Banshee, Zer, and Eververse in that order. So that way you guys are aware of what's going away for this week. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help. Remember, this is mostly for newer players slash people that are coming back to the game. So if you're a veteran that is currently playing, this is not for you. And yeah, I appreciate y'all. Let's just get into it. <clears throat> so to start off, we're going to be looking, actually, let's look for the fit for the video before I get questions for it. So we're using the new relativism uh, exotic. I personally have Galanor and uh, Girl Falcon. I like these two combos. They're really, really fun. Uh, for the helmet, Apollo's following mask with the anthemic invocation Ben braces, Megalomorph vest, and then Aphotic Lemillar strides. Uh, honestly, I, I, I've seen a lot of hunters with these pieces, specifically the arms and the boots, just because like, what else are you going to use, honestly? And yeah, I just... I immediately thought when I saw this cloak, I was like, I'm going to use these arms because they're going to go really good with it because spiky, spiky, and then spiky, obviously. And the shader, the reason I'm using Continuum Alloy is because it has that gold there. Unfortunately, you can still see some of that red, but it's like cool enough where I'm like, I don't care. So let me know what you guys think about this. Also, if I'm going a little bit fast, it's because I'm re-recording this because the output of the video that I recorded at first was like 1640 by 1640. So it was really bad. So... I'm gonna go a little faster than I usually go. So, Genotype Null Zero, I love this shader. It's one of my favorite shaders. It is from an older season as well. Not even season, this is from Warmind, the second DLC. So, definitely really cool. I would recommend this one a lot. We have Flowers of Io, which is a really good shader if you wanna combine it with the play playlist armor, the, the one that has the bones. That one's really, really good. And then we have new Don new monarchy diamonds, which is just a dope shader in general. I love this shader; it's one of my favorites. So definitely pick it up. As for the armor sets, I'm gonna showcase all of them. I'm just not gonna go through all of them individually because, uh, again, I want to be a little bit faster than I usually am. And to be fair, I showcase this armor a lot when it comes up. So this helmet I hate immensely. It's one of the helmets that I hate the most. The chest piece, however, is pretty cool. That being said, we don't have a lot of chest pieces that, I, you know, might as well just show you uh, just because I, I can't really show you from just the picture. So I hate this helmet. It's like one of the helmets I hate the most in the game. Uh, for the chest piece, the only chest piece I can think of that will look really good with this is going to be the Shards of Galanor, the base look of it, um, which makes sense because these both came out at Forsaken, but that's the only one for Hunters. And then the cloak, I'm not the biggest fan of this cloak just because it's it's a cloak that has the same model as the cloak from Io, which, yeah, I honestly, they really should have done a lot more with the memory of Cade cloaks. Like they really should have given it more stuff because this is just boring in my opinion. Uh, Titans, let me see real quick what y'all get. So you have the Tura Bottle Celebration Mask, which I think this is just more, for for me and my old clan mates, we used to call this the Wakanda Forever, Forever Helmet, which is, Pretty funny now that I think about it. Uh, we have again, I hate when it does that. Uh, Scorn Baron plate Titans. You guys have two exotic arms that have ornaments for Scorn, and it looks really cool. So, I would definitely recommend you guys to pick that up. Uh, I'll show you the exotics later. Memory of Cade Mark. I love this mark when you're going for a casual look, uh, especially if it's just like pants. It looks really cool with just like something super basic. And then Warlocks, a lot of it uh, actually two of the one of the pieces is really really good uh this is not one of them this is trash i hate this helmet it's one of the pieces that i hate the most in the game as well uh this chess piece however amazing definitely pick it up people i really love this one it's so good it's legitimately one of my favorite chess pieces that the warlocks got because some of the sets that i made with this chess piece is just amazing and then we have this bond which we're not even gonna look at it that much because it's literally just boring so let me know what you guys think about 801 as for banshee we have skate lock with subsistence and adrenaline junkie true prophecy with overflow and elemental capacitor the vision with ambitious assassin and one for all widow's bite with feeding frenzy and eye of the storm really okay honor's edge with tireless blade and on guard oh me okay Sorry, it's I'm a little confused because like when I when I first recorded this, it actually had a uh, something else. Me, I don't know. Either way, let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up from Banshee. I think this one would be the only one that's like decent, especially if you're a Titan. But other than that, everything else is pretty trash. And just to quickly remind people uh, that Zer is in the tower now. 
all the time. So this is where he's going to be from now on. These are from the and line. Zer is selling some dope shit. So he's selling Wardcliffe Coil, the Catalyst, and the Skyburner Burner Oath Catalyst as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, Assassin's Cal, Mark 44 Stand Aside, and then Sunbracers for the other exotics. And then we have Hawk Moon with Quick Draw, Cyrus Regime, Skyburner's Oath, and Thunderlord. So I would actually recommend people to pick up uh, Skyburner's Oath because it's really, really fun and it's really good against Cabal. But other than that, I would not judge you if you didn't pick it up. Uh, Friction Fire with Auto Loading Holster and Slideways, Shepherd's Watch with Moving Target and Firing Line, Distant Timulus with Gen Genesis and Firing Line, Ignition Code with Quick Draw and Frenzy, Who's Gao with Threat Detector and Kill Clip, Shattered Cypher with Auto Loading Holster and Zen Moment, and then Quick Fang with Tireless Blade and One For All. Uh, for the armor, so this is like one of my favorite armor sets in the game, specifically for Hunters and Titans, mate. To be fair, it's for like all the classes got some dope shit. Uh, let's look. Hunters, that helmet is super, super dope. I love the helmet, especially if you want to go for like a juggernaut look. The arms and boots are a bit boring, but the boots I think are a little bit more sleek than the arms. The arms, I just legitimately think they're, super, they're way too boring. Chess piece, I'm gonna talk about the chess piece in a bit. But let me talk about the mark first. Mark, I love the mark. I just wish it flowed better with other pieces. So chess piece <clears throat> specifically is really good if you wanna go for a poncho look because the new arms that we got for the, uh, the final shape, the first ascent arms, those are really good because it takes the same, the right shoulder pad takes the same color as the cloth for the chess piece. So it's gonna look like it's actually one piece almost so a lot of people have been doing some ponchos look which is really really cool um if i can showcase one of them i'll showcase it right now the one that i made for it it's really really cool i love it a lot and uh yeah i definitely recommend hunters to pick at least the chest piece and the helmet i think those two are legitimately some of the best pieces for it um the cloak i want to I, I really want to use the cloak a lot more because i do think it's cool it's just annoying that it doesn't look like it's just it's a little weird when you combine it with other pieces uh, Titans I'm gonna tell you right now the chest piece the arms and the boots are my favorite pieces from this whole set Specifically the boots and the chest the chest is just so cool Unfortunately uh, a lot of the pieces in this armor set does not change color So the helmet that white mask does not change color that design the yellow and blue design does not change color And if you see that on other pieces uh, then just assume it's not going to change color specifically the chest piece has it I think the boots have it on the shins the sides and then the arms the shoulder pad has a yellow block that doesn't change color and I think the mark also doesn't change color for the white and ye yellow if I remember correctly but either way love the arms chest and boots definitely pick up those pieces at least uh, warlock Helmet and chest piece and boots, both all three of those are super, super dope. Arms and bond, I think, are the most boring pieces from this set. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Zer. I definitely think he has some dope shit that you should pick up um, because, yeah, it's just so cool. I'll also have the armor sets, uh, the rolls right now because I totally forgot to do that for the past videos. And someone did comment and reminded me, so I'll have it up right now. So yeah, uh, that is Zer. We're going to be going on to Eververse real quick. As for Eververse, we have Shifting Cross Phase. We have Copper Tone Patina, which actually looks pretty decent with this set. We have a Signal Intercept. And then Noble Burden. And then Chomping Dance. For the stuff at the bottom, we have Necrosis, which is a dope ornament for the Recluse. Definitely would recommend this one just because it looks really cool. Unfortunately, that red doesn't change color, but still pretty cool. Uh, we have Shining Cabrillet. We have Grass Guzzler. Kit Shell. Watching You. Samba Dance. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Resurrected Shadow. Signal Intercept again, and then Illicit Transmat Effects. For the shaders, we have Rustberry, which actually looks pretty decent on this. Unfortunately, there's a little bit too much white for me. Well, it's not that crazy. It's just here and on the back right here. 
uh, Chidden Slate, which they demolished this shader, and I'm so sad for it because it was really cool once upon a time. Uh, Deep Sea Jaunt. And last but not least, we have Lilac Bombast. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. I apologize that I didn't go in. Well, I don't know. Some people might be like, wow, this was the best one because you didn't talk a lot. But uh, I don't know, man. This, it's my video. That's what I usually do. I like to talk to people or at least tell you guys what I'm doing. So Iron Banner is going to leave this weekend or th this Tuesday. And I ended up getting a repulsor brace with destabilizing rounds, which I didn't even know I dropped with. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to be farming Iron Banner a little bit more probably the next time it comes in because I want to get the shader so we can make the video. Speaking of shaders, I'm probably going to be posting the shader video for the playlist shaders because I think I got them all already. If not, I'm probably just going to get the last one, which I think is Gambit. We're going to be doing that. Um, I didn't go through the ch seasonal challenges challenges unfortunately but it's not that hard a lot of these are very very like just up front like lost sectors uh using your supers uh specifically the new ones that we got and then uh, doing a cooperative focused mission which not well if you have friends it's not hard um at absolutely stunning stun champions i i ain't iron which is an iron banner one specifically you get bonus progress for Iron Banner, but it's not specifically an Iron Banner one, I should say, because it just says complete crucible matches. Great Clouds, which I haven't even done this one, which is just a Arc Solar Stasis or Void Subclasses equipped in Gambit, which right there people are going to be like, never mind. And then Precision Calibration, which is just Sniper Rifles, Fusion Rifles, Scout Rifles, and Precision Final Blows. So that is pretty much it for everything this week. Let me know what you guys are going to be doing or picking up from all of the vendors. I am currently... Okay, so... I am currently working on the the first Descendant. Uh, unfortunately, the three hours that I recorded for that game uh, is unusable because, again, like I said, I recorded a lot of the stuff that I was doing in 620 by 620 resolution, so it's really bad. So I'll probably just make an update video of like, oh, this is what happened before this three hours. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't think you can just erase your character and start from new, which would be cool if I could do that. But I don't think you can do that. Um, and I don't think you have any more character slots. I think it's like Warframe where it's like you only have one and that's it. Um, so yeah, we're probably going to be posting some first uh, the first Descendant stuff. Because uh, I already spent $10 on it just to get a new character. Because I didn't want to use the two characters they gave you. And I really want to give that game a try. Like I, will, I don't want people to be like, nah, that was you didn't give the game a proper chance. Like I already made a character I think looks cool. I might make another one. Uh, the poison chick or toxic chick, chick whatever and legitimately give it a good college try and then if i don't like it then i can just be like hey man i gave it a try i even spent money on it which is weird for me so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all coming up to this point remember i have a bunch of content for you guys expect a lot of basic armor videos uh pieces and indiv individual piece videos for all the classes a bunch of stuff like that so i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later all right i'm done